Welcome back, guys. I'm here again. It's me, Tabsil. All right. Anyway, so as I've told you previously, in this lesson, we are going to configure the player and the egg to be more suitable for a use in the network, on the network. Okay. So let's double click on the player. Perfect. Let's select it. And the first thing we want to do here is add a new component. So be aware that any any game object you want to use on the network should have a specific component, which is the network object component. Okay, so network object. That way, it's recognizable on the network and has a unique ID. All right? Awesome. After that, we are also going to add a network transform game object so that the transform component of this specific game object, so this component right here, will be synchronized across all the devices that are connected on the network. Okay, so in our case, we don't want to synchronize the scale because it's not going to change. We don't want to synchronize the rotation of the player but we just want to synchronize the position on the X and Y axis, okay? So why do we remove these? First off, because we don't need them. And secondly, because the less data you want to send across the network, the better, the faster your game will be running, okay? Awesome. So next, I think that we are going to do the same thing for the egg. So let's select the egg, double click it. Perfect. So let's add a network object to the egg. And right here, we aren't going to add a network transform component, but we are rather going to add a network rigid body 2D component. Okay. So network rigid body 2D. And by the way, it automatically adds a network transform rigid body. So what's the difference here? You will tell me. The difference here is that when adding a network rigid body 2D to this egg, okay, specifically, if you decide like to run the physics simulation on the server, all of the instances of this egg on the clients will have a kinematic rigid body. Okay, it's going to be set to kinematic. The physics simulation will only run on the server and the changes will be applied. So the changes in position, rotation will be changed or will be synchronized across the network to the other clients. Okay, so that's perfect. You must know that you mustn't mess with the kinematic value of this guy on the clients, okay? Otherwise, it will mess up the position of the egg for the clients, but not for the server. You might notice some lag or some differences in positions, all right? Perfect. So, same thing here. We don't want to synchronize the scale, nor the Y or Z value of the scale. We want to synchronize the Z rotation of the egg but not the Z position. And I think that we are done. Awesome. In the next session, we are going to create our UI just to be able to start the game as a host or as a client to be able to see if actually two players can connect to the same network. So see you there.